Hello, guys. How are you? Good morning. Bon dia, buenos dias. Bonjour. I'm Anaïs. Uh, and as many of you, I actually just uh, recently discovered and visited Barcelona. Uh, I was, of course, amazed by the city. Uh, so many great people, the culture, everything I could discover was really amazing. Um, but when I started at BAC, I also saw that not only does Barcelona have a, a very big culture, but we have 50 nationalities in the center. Even though we have 50 nationalities, every single person at Barcelona goes through the same thing. We start at BSC, we discover, right? The second thing, we work, we settle down, we have a daily basis, daily work, right? And finally, we go through the last stage, which means we decide to leave the BSC. Well, today I'm going to explain to you the whole process from the very first step until the end. We do that also because when we, uh, in 2015, we were awarded the Human Resources, um, Human Resources Strategy for Researcher Award, and this year was the renewal period. Okay? To renew it, and you can see here in, in April, we sent to you all a survey. We analyzed it in September during focus groups, and then with this analysis, we created a plan of action that we recently submitted. Okay? Submitting it means also having the approval from the executive committee, and we are now waiting for the next step. Now we are right here. Okay? We are waiting for the site visit, which is from external reviewers in just a few months. We will contact you then because we need your participation. Today, I'm going to focus especially on those two points, okay? The first one is the focus groups. The focus group uh, was the time to analyze the first survey that we sent to you, and uh, using voluntary representatives from each profile and every profile at BSC, okay? Those focus groups, during those focus groups, we also organized what we call the employee journey, employee experience survey, and we created the plan of action with this, okay? I want to explain to you furthermore the, the employee experience. It's actually based on a marketing tactic, tactic where like it's, it's also called customer journey or customer experience, and we analyze the level of satisfaction that you have during every step of your experience at BSC, from the very first contact you have with us until you leave BSC and even afterwards. I will tell you something about that later. Very quickly, this is the final results. As you can see, it's a lot of information, so don't worry, we'll go into more details in just a second. The ratings are from one to 10, of course, one being the lowest and uh, 10 being the highest level of satisfaction. As you can see, it's like a mountain, right? We have highs and lows, but as a company, we need to grow together, right? We all go in the same direction. We are not at the top, but we need to continue on finding new ways of improvement and new ways to make our experience better together. The first thing, the first part I want to focus on is the recruitment phase. As you can see, the ratings are quite high. But still, we need to discuss about the duration of the processes of selection. It can be sometimes a bit long, maybe too long, and we need to make it more efficient. So, we need to find ways to improve that. The second thing is the steps of the process and the organization. Every step of the way, uh, we need to explain to people why we have this process, how it works, um, the tools that we use, and train you on how to use them, right? Explaining to you that is also providing you with training on selection, explaining to you the tools, and always keep in mind that we respect the guidelines of the OTMR. Uh, if you don't know it, it's open, transparent, and merit-based recruitment. Okay? Then we start with the induction phase. Uh, this is a tricky one. As you can see, the level is quite low of satisfaction uh, for the relocation process. 
of course, and I went through the same thing when I started in Barcelona. It's very hard to get an NIE number, a social security, a bank account, finding an apartment, everything is really complicated. But what happens with us at BSC, we can still make some efforts and help you more with that. Finding new agreements with apartment companies, giving you even more advice, communicate with public agencies. They also work, uh, the public agencies also work on lowering this administrative burden. Okay? The next step is the welcome meeting. As you all know, since 2015, we have a welcome meeting on the first day of your arrival to explain, to talk about BSC, the tips, the information you need to know and you need to have, right? But this welcome meeting can be improved. Why? Because sometimes we give too much information and we need to reduce the content, focusing maybe more on tips and ways to find the information. How you find information? One of the ways is working through a buddy program. A buddy program is someone from your department that would be giving you guidelines when you start in order to understand better where to find information, giving you tips on your daily work at BSC, the buildings, where to find things, etc. We dif differentiate it from the mentoring program, which is very different. We also want to implement it. It's a program that will help you when you start at BSC to have a mentor, a senior, that will help you more on the professional side of things, uh, discussing about your career, your task, your responsibilities, career advice, etc. The next step is your work experience. So let's focus on the lowest part, the lowest point in that. Um, we have documents that explain BSC, the mission, the vision, the values, right? And you also have a process uh, and documents to explain to you your responsibilities and your objectives. But Sometimes we need to clarify it, to make it clearer, maybe to lower the level of information, but to make it more clearer. Also to continue on explaining to you and improving the process of performance and appraisal. Okay? Uh, updating the career path. Well, there are a lot of things that we can, we can continue to do with your participation. The next thing I wanted to mention is about the communication. We've identified that we lack sometimes clearer communication and other ways of communicating. As you know, we all work in remote at this time, so it's very important to adapt us, right? First of all, creating new ways of communicating means creating videos, making short seminars, uh, having other ways of um, reaching people, right? Uh, so this is the one, one of the things that we would like to implement, but there are more and more ideas. One of the lowest points that you can see here is the communication between departments. And maybe talking about the technology that was developed in one department to the others can be really positive in that sense. Okay. Giving you finally more information on the regulation, the norms, and the creation of the legal team internally uh, at the beginning of the year can also help with that. Okay. I will go now to the satisfaction phase. The satisfaction phase is actually the moment where you are settling in, in, in the center, you go through trainings, and you start to develop your career. What I would, would like to say about this is that training is very important, but an adapted training is very much more important, right? You need to have a training that's adapted to your needs, so that's why we update the training plan every year, but we need to give you more career advice, creating a career advice service, right? Um, new committees, uh, especially uh, for uh, specific profiles. Um, and now, in order to continue and, and finalize the process where, where you work at BSC, um, communicating and continuing on communicating more about the compensation plan, uh, how it works, uh, the next steps of, uh, of the process and the career for you. Continue on an analyzing and improving this level of satisfaction by always continuing on uh, analyzing and doing benchmarking from other institutions, etc., to make sure that we are, of course, uh, right on the, on the market. Finally, let me just uh, talk about the exit uh, process. One thing I wanted to mention is this point right here. Uh, we know that, uh, of course, it's always uh, difficult to leave, but we hope that you have such a great experience at BSC that you wish to come back very soon. So thank you so much.
for your attention. Thank you for making BSC better every day. And thank you for listening today. Bye-bye. <laughs>